not all great stories come from the professionals. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 mind-blowing fan theories in film. Are you a fan of fan theories? Maybe you want to dig deeper into the ones surrounding franchises like Harry Potter and Doctor Who. Well, head on over to WatchMojo UK, where all these and more are covered. For this list, we're looking at more shocking theories from movie lovers that shed new light on their source material. We're basing our choices on a mix of plausibility, level of detail, and how each theory improves their original film. Some of these theories are plot-heavy, so a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10. Jar Jar Banks is a Sith Lord throughout the prequels, the Star Wars franchise. Jar Jar Banks was much maligned for his over-the-top comic relief in the Star Wars prequels, but what if it was part of an elaborate act? Reddit user Lumpawaru suggests that Binks is actually one of the most powerful Sith Lords in the galaxy. The theory also posits that Jar Jar's clumsiness is part of a drunken fist martial arts style. Binks also waves his hands during several key political scenes as a potential Jedi mind trick. Lumpawaru also suggested that Jar Jar becomes Supreme Leader Snoke, but Andy Serkis has shot that one down. That he is Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a really sucky theory. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Given Binks' insane luck and acrobatics, this theory is surprisingly believable. <laughs> Number 9. Kevin McAllister grew up and became Jigsaw, Home Alone and the Saw franchise. <laughs> Fair warning, you'll never watch Home Alone the same again. What if, after years of violently foiling the wet bandits, Kevin McAllister grew up to become the Jigsaw Killer? Kevin's childhood abandonment and attacks from Harry and Marv drove him crazy and led him to violently reform criminals later in life. Hello, Michael. I want to play a game. McAllister's knack for improvised traps only improved with age, leading to more gruesome and elaborate setups. Even Kevin's dangerous stairways and doorway gun attacks mirror Jigsaw's own work. Jigsaw's use of tapes and video were an evolution of childhood audio pranks. McAllister was also obsessed with the South Bend Shovel Slayer as a kid and had psychotic hallucinations about his furnace. The signs are there. Yes! 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 Number 8. Aladdin is set in the future. Aladdin. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck! According to this theory, the only reason you've never heard of Aladdin's home, Agrabah, is that it doesn't exist. Yet. This is because Aladdin is set in a post-apocalyptic future, where the world has been ravaged by a nuclear war. The genie claims to have been trapped in the lamp for 10,000 years, but never specifies any dates. This would explain the genie's impressions of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jack Nicholson, as well as creating a game show set. Aladdin's magic carpet could also be a piece of hover technology, and Iago's speech would be a result of years of mutation. Far-fetched or just so crazy it might be true. We're never gonna get a hold of that stupid lamp! Number 7. Agent Smith was the one, not Neo. The Matrix franchise. We've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson. Though we're led to believe that Neo is the one in The Matrix, fans have suggested for some time that it's actually Agent Smith who saves the world. The prophecy of the one states that they're born inside The Matrix, which applies to Smith, but only fits Neo on a metaphorical level. Even the Oracle never explicitly calls Neo the one, and he in turn suggests it's not him either. I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. The Oracle also refers to Smith as a bastard, which implies that she created him. You are a bastard. You would know, Mom. Since Smith merging with Neo is what reloads the Matrix, Smith is also the one to fulfill the prophecy. Is it over? Number 6. Tom Hardy's Mad Max is actually the Feral Kid, Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior, and Mad Max Fury Road. Tom Hardy's Max Rokotansky looked significantly rougher than Mel Gibson's, and was also a man of very few words, leading some fans to believe he's the feral child from Road Warrior. Not only would this explain Max's sparse dialogue in Fury Road, but even his use of narration in both films. Fans claim the boy was so enamored with Max that he mimicked him until he eventually identified as him. Hardy doesn't give a name at first either, and only reveals himself as Max once he feels like he's a hero. The music box Max gives the feral child even ends up in the war rig later in the film. It is certainly compelling. Everyone in the old world had a show. Do you think there's still somebody out there? 
Number 5. Marty McFly Died Several Times, Back to the Future Part 2 Go Doc! Right as Marty McFly is about to be brutally run over by Biff Tannen, Doc Brown drops a rope to save him. The ridiculous amount of luck required to pull off this escape prompted Redditor Hootinger to propose that it wasn't Doc's first try. Hootinger's theory suggests that Brown learned where and when to be after seeing Marty get run down, possibly several times. Though Doc has preached against disrupting the space-time continuum, he may have changed his opinions after McFly saved his life. Other fans have also suggested that this is how Doc saved Marty from the roof of Biff Tower. Number 4. Anderton Never Escaped the Prison Minority Report Goodbye, Wait! When John Anderton is put in a permanent sleep for a crime he hasn't committed yet, he's magically freed and saves the day. Some fans believe, however, that everything after Anderton's arrest is actually just his dream. In fact, one officer literally says that prisoners see their life flash before their eyes before they're put to sleep, and that all their dreams come true. They say you have visions that your life flashes before your eyes, that all your dreams come true." Following that logic, John's fantastical escape, victory, and storybook ending could all be fantasy. The idea fits better with author Philip K. Dick's bleak writing style, and may even explain why Anderton inexplicably breaks into monologue at the end of the film. The question you have to ask is, what are you going to do? Number 3. Harry imagines the entire series while under the stairs. The Harry Potter franchise. Up. Get up. Now! Harry is mistreated and locked under a staircase by the Dursleys, and he's largely kept a secret from their family and friends. This abuse forced Potter to imagine a better life for himself, including an entire world of magical powers. Doesn't Harry switch from being a nobody to having money and fame really seem too good to be true? And what about all the surreal injuries of the wizarding world? Harry's broken bones could be related to his abuse. This is such an interesting theory that even J.K. Rowling has voiced her support of it as a possible interpretation, though she's never gone so far as to confirm it. Number 2. Owen is the kid Alan Grant talks to about raptors, Jurassic Park, and Jurassic World. More like a six-foot turkey. At the beginning of Jurassic Park, Alan Grant terrifies a kid who says raptors sound like six-foot turkeys. One theory suggests the scared child changes his perspective and grows up to be Owen in Jurassic World. Owen not only respects raptors, but is so obsessed that he becomes a raptor expert. He even calls back to Grant's advice when he says his relationship with his raptors is built on respect rather than control. I don't control the raptors, it's a relationship. It's based on mutual respect. It wouldn't be far-fetched in the series' timeline, since Chris Pratt is almost the same age as the original actor. Even Colin Trevorrow has admitted the theory is too fun to clarify. You are alive when they start to eat you. So, you know, try to show a little respect. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Following the leader, the leader, the leader, we're following the leader, wherever he may go. You look beautiful. Thank you. You look beautifuler. I mean, not fuller. You don't look fuller, but more, more beautiful. <laughs> Number one, the Joker is a disgruntled war veteran. The Dark Knight. You want to know how I got these scars? Though the Joker gives several stories about his scars, some fans believe he's actually a soldier suffering from PTSD. A career in the military would explain the Joker's sophisticated knowledge of explosives and high-powered weaponry. The Joker also blows up entire buildings, sets traps for helicopters, and hits moving targets with a rocket launcher as if he's done it before. The Joker even alludes to his past when he rants about soldiers being blown up. If tomorrow I tell the press that like a gangbanger will get shot, or a truckload of soldiers will be blowing up, nobody panics. Because it's all part of the plan. Along with his exceptional fighting skills, his hate for the government could also stem from a traumatic experience in the army. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.